Hey there, if you don't know me, my name is Maria and I like to make technology videos on the internet. And in this video, I wanted to talk to you about what it was like for me to do two internships during this past summer. So if you didn't know, this summer I interned at Shopify as a data engineering intern and at Twitch as a software engineering intern. Very weird, I know. So in this video, I wanted to break down why this is a thing, like how did it even happen, how it worked out over this entire summer, and the similarities and differences I saw between both companies and both internship programs, as well as some of my overall reflections about how I felt doing both internships at the same time, and also now that it's been a month, how I look back on it. So with that, let's get right into the video. Honestly, where to actually begin? Maybe it's best if I explain a little bit of backstory. So I'm in the Shopify dev degree program, and that means that I'm supposed to only do internships at Shopify. I'm so grateful for this program, and I basically do part-time school and part-time work throughout all four years of university. That's how this program works. And every eight months, you're put on a different team at Shopify, and there's supposed to be four different disciplines of software engineering. So I did a web development one, a backend one, and then I was doing a data engineering one, and that one started in January. But the thing was that all of my friends were applying to co-ops and internships, and I was jealous of them. And I thought, well, I haven't had a lot of interview experience. All I've done is interview for like going on to my next teams at Shopify. So maybe I should actually practice this. And at the time I was taking an algorithms class, so I was kind of like learning this stuff anyways. My plan with my friend in dev degree, like in the same program as me, we were like, okay, we're going to start applying for internships just for fun, just to see like what it's like to interview and what it's like to do coding assessments and all that stuff. And plus I have like a whole series of videos that you can check out somewhere. And one of my friends did the coding assessment for Twitch. And I was like, oh cool, I wish I could do that. It turns out that Twitch last year at least did it like three, you could do it at three different points in time. So then I landed in the last point in time when you can do their coding assessment. So I did their coding assessment like end of December, early January. But what happened was the recruiter reached out to me because they saw my profile or like some hiring manager liked that I had front-end development skills, but then I don't like doing front-end. So I told the recruiter that and he said, oh, okay, let's find you a different team. Like, what are your interests? I explained and then that happened. That was my first time on a phone call with a recruiter, by the way, and it just went from there. So that's how it happened. But then, yeah, I'm not in a program where I can do a full-time internship and just like take a whole summer off of school. Once I got the offer from Twitch, I was like, oh my God, like I really want to do this because it's like a dream come true. I was not expecting to get it at all. I basically talked to a bunch of people in the dev degree team and I asked them if I could do this because it doesn't say in our contract that we can't. And if I do like my hours properly, then it's still fine. I also talked to my uh, team lead, like my manager at the time and my mentor and asked them if I could do this. And then they said, sure. And, but they were also like hesitant about it, but of course, like they let me do it because I guess I showed them like I can do my work. And anyways, like my internship at Twitch would start in May. And by that time I would already have been working like four months on my team. So I would already get to know things more, but it, it was kind of hard. <laughs> it was really hard still, but it, it was okay. So that's kind of how it went down. And also like I talked to the Twitch recruiter and he, I told him about my program at Shopify. Uh, my hours lined up like that was the whole thing was because I don't have to be in person for either of them I can just sit at my desk do my work, but it, there are different time zones And I'm working in Toronto time. So that's Eastern time and then Pacific time for Twitch would be three hours later like behind So then their 9 a.m. would be my 12 p.m. So that's kind of how it worked out Okay, so let me talk now about how did it actually work? So my hours every day over the summer like Monday to Friday were 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Shopify doing data engineering. Then having like a lunch for, I don't know, lunch was all over the place. I would try to do like from 12 to 12.30, but sometimes I would have meetings at Shopify or sometimes I would have something early at Twitch, but I would still eat something, I would obviously eat. But then I would start at Twitch at like 12.30 or 1 p.m. my time. We would have meetings and that kind of stuff. And I would work until 8.30 p.m. So that was my schedule, it was pretty late. and. Twitch also just doesn't have meetings very late, like they don't like to do meetings super late. So then that was good. But also I didn't mind having late meetings because by the end of the day, I'm tired and I don't want to think. So I'm fine with just like listening and talking to people. All right, so now let's actually talk about the internship programs and how they differed. I think that normally to like Twitch's internship program and Shopify's regular internship program would be pretty similar, but I did notice some differences. 
but I guess I will be talking about my dev degree internship versus a normal full-time internship program. So like I mentioned before, my program with Shopify, it's eight months, but it's part-time. So you kind of would get like maybe six months of like full-time experience if you like combine the hours. But also what's different is that usually you'll be working on stuff that your teammates are working on. So you're kind of just like a junior developer on a team. You're just working on whatever they're doing, but smaller tasks and things that you can manage. And then it builds up over time gradually. And then sometimes I have had the experience where I do get to run my own project. But in Twitch's program, it was a project-based internship. So four months, or you could choose three months and it's full time. So 40 hours a week, so eight hours every day. So what was it like doing data engineering at Shopify? So data engineering, I'll say, is pretty difficult, or at least in my opinion it is, because it's not something I have learned in school yet. I have my big data classes next semester. So you learn everything on the job. And I think that's the case for a lot of like more niche areas in software engineering. But data engineering is still a bunch of coding, but it's just like you have to know the why behind everything. I thought that that was the hardest thing. It's just before you code, you have to know why are you doing this thing or figuring out why you're doing something. Why does it work this way? What and what technologies am I using? Because I didn't know a bunch of these technologies and I was still new to Python as well. So in my internship, I was basically working in one main repository and a bunch of other ones and also a little bit in open source as well. And that was in Java and the technologies that I mostly worked with were Python, Apache, Druid, Airflow, and Google Cloud Platform. Those are the main ones that I was using. And I was working just in the mornings, which was kind of difficult because my team would have meetings like twice a week. One of them was in the mornings, one of them was in the afternoons. So I couldn't go to the afternoon one because I was working at Twitch. So I kind of did miss some context about what was going on because we had split up our project, different people working on different things. So I would just try to like read everybody's stand-up notes in our Slack channel to see what's going on and keep track of things like that. Okay, and moving over to Twitch. It was interesting to experience a, like a normal internship program because I think the thing that I don't like about being a part-time intern is that you miss context, like you miss things when you're away for that day. And you also, I feel like it takes me forever to do something, even though it doesn't. It's just, it looks like it does because I don't work full-time. But then when I was doing a full-time internship at Twitch, I felt like I was doing so well because I was actually like trying really hard every single day to get things done. And I don't know, it felt fulfilling to know that I'm not slow because people were like, oh my God, you're so fast. Even though I was, I don't think I was, but it was really nice to hear that or like, because I always doubt myself that I'm very slow because I always see my pull requests and it takes me a while to get them reviewed or get them to look the way I want them to. Like at Twitch, it was full time. So it's like, okay, I can actually estimate how long it's going to take me to do this. I'll be like, oh, okay, a few days. And it does take a few days. It's not like with dev degree where it's like, you just have to double everything because it's probably going to take you longer than you expect it to. And also the difference between the program was that like I said, for Twitch, it's a project-based internship. So I was just building my own project. You can watch my video about that to learn more. And it was really fun to get the experience to do that, even though I had more, like prior experience at Shopify doing that, but it was more, more focused, just like one specific project and I was owning it. So I really enjoyed that aspect of it. It was a little bit of pressure, of course, I was very nervous going into it. But I think I was, I was really happy to be able to do it and to like get help from my teammates as well. So it wasn't like I was super closed off. It was still a project related to my team and my teammates could help me out because they had context on like the different code and all that stuff. So going into Twitch, I didn't know all of the technologies that they use. So I didn't know Golang. So I was learning it over the summer and I knew some Ruby on Rails and like GraphQL and React. So that was helpful that I already knew those technologies because Twitch does use those but mostly everything is Golang. And I like my goal this year actually was to get better at Python and also to learn Golang. So I was really excited to get to learn Golang. So it was great because at the beginning of the summer, they had an introduction to it from a senior engineer on another team. And after that, we had a book club. Also something I didn't mention was that we did have a bunch of events for interns at Twitch. I do think that they helped us become a little bit closer, but I still think that 
we because we're not in person and because it's all remote and everyone was trying to build their projects and focusing on that we were not very close or as close as we wanted to get like i did become closer to a few specific interns but it's just like not as good as it could have been if i were in person okay now let's get into the similarities and differences that i saw between twitch and shopify so because these are the only two tech companies i've worked at it was pretty interesting to see like i thought that they would be completely different but honestly i felt like there were way more similarities between them maybe the easiest way to explain this is that the ranking of companies that use the most slack emojis is first twitch and second shopify <laughs> so so basically you know what kind of companies they are very like funny and people are generally friendly you know it's very nice i would say twitch has more of like a meme culture you know internet type of culture of course and shopify is a little bit more professional now i feel like i don't think that i saw too many sim like too many differences i think that twitch does have a little bit of amazon infused into it like the way that they do tech design reviews and things like that but i think that it was generally pretty similar oh also something really funny that I realized about Twitch is that the chat in meetings is so active. Like if you've ever used Twitch, you know chat is a huge feature, but it really transferred over to employees at Twitch, like just using the chat in like, in just in video calls. And it's so funny, just like you're listening to someone and then someone writes something in chat and it's hilarious. And it's just, yeah, it makes things more fun and entertaining. Yeah, honestly, I don't know how to compare the two. I think they're both medium sized tech companies that are very fun and nice to work at. I love both of their missions. I guess there's a lot of differences, like they use different technologies, like they're different sectors. They're both consumer technologies, I guess. And you have to think a lot about your users, especially if you're working on the product side. But it was different because I was, I was kind of working on one hand at Twitch on the product side, but on the other hand at Shopify on the platform side. So even that was different. All right, moving on to the final part of this video, and I think the juiciest part was my overall reflection and experience doing two internships. So, well, I think that I don't have regrets of doing it because I think that I learned so much and that is transferable like in my future and it, I can already see it because I wrote my tech design doc at Twitch. I had to write a bunch of things as well, like technical writing. I have much more confidence in that now. And I think that I can help with writing tech design docs on my future teams. And also at Twitch, I learned about Golang and now I'm gonna be using it. And I am very happy that I get to use Golang some more because I really enjoy the language. And also data engineering. Data engineering was really fun and I learned so much and I still like, I'm subscribed to some newsletters that like send you weekly data engineering things, like some articles to read. So I am interested in it, but I think I, I don't know if it's the right place for me is what I'm thinking because right now I'm doing production engineering and I feel like that's more of my style, like more infrastructure things. So it is still as a platform, but I don't know if big data is like where I would want to work in. I don't know. It's just, it was hard. Okay. It was, it was hard to also stay motivated. I think that was the biggest issue I had. It's like at some point I was motivated to go to work at Shopify and like wake up in the mornings, be excited about what I was working on. But then other times I wasn't. And it was just at some point in the summer, I felt very complacent, honestly. I'm usually always trying to push myself and learn and try to do things faster. That's a good thing, but also not a good thing, like to push myself to be fast. But I mean, just not pushing myself as much as I should be, like, or as I think that I should be. Uh, in, in theory, if I were doing just one of them. So it's kind of like a balancing act. And also, actually, I forgot to mention, I was doing a course at school at the same time. <laughs> I was also taking one course over the summer. It's a full year anthropology course, but I was doing it on the weekends, but still a lot of lectures to watch, reflections to write, essays to write. So there was that, but it wasn't a computer science course. So that was great. Also making YouTube videos as well. So a lot of things going on still and trying to have a life. I wouldn't recommend this to other people because when I was looking for, has anyone ever done two internships at the same time? Basically nothing came up except like apparently Elon Musk did it. So now you can compare me to Elon Musk, I guess, but I wouldn't <laughs> like no ways, no, like no way. Okay. Something you're probably wondering is, did I actually get burnt out at all this summer? And 
yeah, you guessed it. Of course I did. Um, working 12 hours a day isn't easy and it's very hard, especially when you have stuff on the weekend that you have to do as well, like school and doing YouTube and different things at other points in time, like when I started interviewing as well. Yeah, it was difficult and it, life is still hard right now. I thought it would get easier, but I took too many courses at school. So it's, it's hard still, but I think that when I started the internship at Twitch, it was May and during May and June, I think it was pretty good. I think at first I was very overwhelmed because, or I felt overwhelmed a little bit, but then because I had written my tech design doc and planned out how things would go, then I felt less anxious because I, I am someone who gets a lot of anxiety about things when it's like, I don't know what's going to happen. And that was good to plan things out and be more organized. But also because of that, we saw that it's like, okay, I really need to do this quickly because it's like we estimated that it will take like so much time to finish this project and I don't have that much time. So like as much time as we estimated, so I was like, okay, I have to do things really quickly. So then in May and June, I was learning a lot, getting familiar with things and just like pumping out code, basically trying to do that. And I was getting a lot, like getting ahead of stuff and it was good. But then July rolled around and we had a one week break, a one week off from Twitch. And then I also took vacation from Shopify during that week so I could relax. That was a relaxing week. It was nice. The last day of that week off before the Monday, um, drama happened with stupid things in my friend group. And yeah, then I had like two hours of sleep going into the new week. And yeah, doing 12 hours of work on two hours of sleep is not great. And that whole week I just had terrible sleep. And then that's what made me burnt out was because personal reasons, you know, some, you can't plan for this, but that was something that was bad that happened. You can't do anything about it. Maybe I could have said something. Maybe I could have taken time off as well for this. Who knows? But it wasn't the best. And after that, yeah, I kind of felt burnt out because of personal reasons. But it wasn't the fault of either company or like the internship programs or anything. It was just life issues, you know? But going into August, I think it was kind of better. The ending of my internships, I was just trying to do as much as possible to finish off things. Yeah, it was pretty hard. And also final assignments for my anthropology course. Everything was really, it's just everything accumulated in that like last two weeks of like in my internships in August, it was a lot. Oh my God, I'm actually sweating now. Okay, let me finish this off with answering some questions that I got on Instagram. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. Someone asked me, how do you still have time for your anime addiction despite working that much? That was the issue. I did it. That was why, <laughs> that was why my summer was miserable was because, or not miserable, but I mean, it was sad because I didn't have time for entertainment. And I think that's an important part of people's lives is to relax and rest. And yeah, every day after work, I would just work out with my friend and then maybe like not even watch anime. What did I even do? I don't even know. Maybe sometimes talk to my friends and do other things, catch up on other things that I was missing and yeah, go to sleep. I didn't have time to watch things, but I did start Bleach during the summer and now I need to continue it. And I watched Castlevania. So that was really good. But Castlevania is short, so that's why I could get through it. Another question I got was, why would you do something like that to yourself? I don't know. I just wanted to see what it was like. I got that. Now I know. And now I know not to do it again. Yeah, I think I answered the other questions, like what were the most difficult times? Free swag, yes. And um, what did I do with all my bags of money? Um, invest and also take my parents to Vancouver. That was fun. And I made them go on a hard level hike, the grass grind. And I didn't know it was a hard level hike. I thought it was going to be easy. And then my parents <laughs> were mad at me, <laughs> but it was good. It was really good. That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about this. I hope you do not do this. Just, just, just don't. I just hope that this shows you that if someone like me can do two internships at the same time, that you can do anything and that I don't recommend doing this because you should have a life. You should relax. Of course, go after what you want and have ambitions, but don't do it to the detriment of your mental and physical health. I'd like to say thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me, of course, through all of this. And yeah, I couldn't have done this without my family and my friends and everyone who I worked with at Shopify and at Twitch 
because you are all the best. You taught me so much. See you next time.